dealing with a subtraction like this, the most important thing is to line up the decimal points. So what we would normally do is put our decimal points first, including in the answer box. We then fill in the digits. So here we're going to have 15.47 and here 3.14. We then proceed through the subtraction as in the, as in the standard method. So we do 7 subtract 4, leaving us 3. 4 subtract 1, leaving us 3. And 5 subtract 3, leaving us 2. And the 1 subtract nothing, which is 1. If you need to use decomposition with decimals, it's very similar to the decomposition without decimals. So we draw our decimal points and our answer box and we line up our numbers first thing we need to do is 7 subtract 9 now we can't do that so again we go to the next column along and we follow the same method. We now have 17 subtract 9 giving us 8. Now we have 1 subtract 2. We can't do that so we just go along to the next one again. Keep following the standard method. 11 subtract 2 gives us 9 and 4 subtract 3 gives us 1. So our answer is 1.98.